video, I'm going to be showing you how to add a brand new profile and hopefully get it to work the very first time. To do this, we need to click the Add button on our Profile Manager here. If you missed a step before this and you're not sure how we got here, please go back and watch the other videos in the playlist. Again, link in the description to check that out so that you can get to where we are and get your bot up and running too. The profile name is the name of the profile in your manager up here itself. So this is not related to the actual game and you can name it whatever you want. Next up, we have our account name. This is the account that is on battle.net that has the character that we will be using to actually bot with. The password for set account. And finally, the character on that account that will be the actual bot running when you run this profile. So with this particular section, these two are not case sensitive. Well, of course, the password's case sensitive, but the character section is also case sensitive. So you need to make sure that if there are capitals, underscores, whatever the case may be, make sure that you get those correct here. Next up, we have the game info section, and this is if you want to name your games as well as give them a password. Again, I highly recommend that you do this. Your difficulty level, we have Hell, Nightmare, Normal, and Highest. I'm assuming Highest is for single player. Pick your realm if you're on Battle.net, and then either pick Battle.net or single player accordingly with which one you're doing. Parameters, this is how the game will open or how it will act when it's open, I should say, when you run this actual profile. So I'm gonna go over all of the parameters that I'm aware of so that you guys understand them better. The first one here, the dash W means windowed mode. This needs to stay here as D2BS slash Colbot will not function without this particular parameter enabled. Next we have dash NS and that stands for no sound. This can be deleted safely and will still run properly if you wish to hear your bot have sound. Next up we have dash sleepy. This is a resource saving measure. It puts a sleep loop in your runs. It's something you can do if you have an older machine or if you're running a virtual machine or something like that, it'll help save on resources. There are also two more that are not here that you can add to it, and one of them is dash, lowercase l, lowercase q, and that is low quality mode, again, mostly to conserve resources for those virtual machines and older XP computers. And then finally, we have the dash capital L, and this is for loader only, if you only want to load the loader. Next up, we have the Diablo path. We need to select our Diablo 2 game.exe in the folder where we put our CD keys from the previous step or the Diablo 2 that we're going to be used that has the CD keys that are already installed when we install the game. Whatever the case may be, the CD keys, the legitimate CD keys that work on battle.net need to be associated with this game.exe in one way or another. Next up, we have the entry script. And the entry script is what the bot will actually do when it enters into the game. So if you want the bot to be alone, do you want the bot to be a leader and have many followers? Do you want the bot to be a follower or a mule logger? I'm not going to get into all of those. What I'm going to do here, and probably for the most of these videos, is just give you a basic entry on how to get the bot started with just a single character. And then later on, I'll release more videos on how to use more of the expert or more advanced features of the actual bot itself. So for now, we want to click on the little folder next to it, and I'm going to show you how to find these entry scripts. So we're going to go into our Colbot folder. We're going to go into D2BS, Colbot, and then right here, all of these .dbj files are your entry scripts. For the time being, we're just going to select D2BotLead.dbj. We're going to click OK, and now you can see it's been selected. Next up, we have the key list. Now, there's a couple different things you can do here. You can select a key that you've already made, or you can leave it blank if you want to use the keys that were used when you installed Diablo 2. Either way, that's up to you. The rest of this, for now, I'm going to leave it as stock, and if you're new to this, again, check out my later videos on the more advanced options for this. For now, I would just leave it as stock. It's going to be a lot easier for you. We can always change this stuff later when we learn more about what we're doing, including myself. So all we have left to do now is hit Apply and hit OK. As you can see here, it added my profile to the list, and we're all set.